Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of the Beast Coast News. Let's jump into it. So it looks like right now, um, recreational cannabis could soon be legal in these states. Let's talk about what's going on. Um, so there's an ever-growing list of states where people can legally buy cannabis um, in regards to recreational adult use, whatever terminology you prefer, um, could get a little longer this fall. Um, recreational cannabis is all already legal in about 19 states, and legalization proposal are on the ballots for this fall in South Dakota, Missouri, and Maryland. Supporters are also trying to get measures on the ballots in Arkansas, North Dakota, and Oklahoma. Backers of the Missouri ballot proposal are highlighting a provision that would erase past cannabis-related convictions for nonviolent offenders and those whose convictions didn't include selling to minors or driving while high. Despite the 60% of Americans supporting the legalization of recreational cannabis in the 2021 Pew Research poll and over 90% saying either medical or um, adult or recreational cannabis should be legal. It doesn't appear that federal law will be changing anytime soon. Um, remember back in June when Senator Chuck Schumer, Cory Booker, Roy Wayden released a bill to legalize um, cannabis, but the legislation appeared unlikely to have the 60 vote it would need to pass. So um, I'm going to throw a list up in the description of this um, episode so you can take a look at all the current legal states where you can actually get adult use um, cannabis. So we want to say New York, New York is on its way. Um, New York opens up application for cannabis dispensaries to people impacted by drug conviction. Now, New Yorkers can now apply to operate the state's first 150 cannabis dispensaries as New York rollouts its fledging industry that aims to prioritize those affected by the decade-long prohibition on cannabis. On Thursday, the online application opened the con the conditional adult use recreational um, license. So that's called CARD, um, C-A-U-R-D, conditional adult use retail dispensary. Um, these qualified business are set to make the first sales of cannabis to people over 21 years and older in the state by the end of 2022 of this year. They will also get public finances to operate their business following the state's 2021 law legalization of cannabis. To qualify for the license, applicants must have been affected by a strict drug laws that criminalize cannabis for decades. Black and Latino communities have constantly have been overrepresented in the marijuana related arrests. A wrong state aims to address in part with these licenses. We are hiding from the dark history that has plagued our state, said Damien Fargan, the chief equity officer for the state office of cannabis management. The state agency tasked with overseeing the industry in a virtual press conference announced the application portal opening. We're shining a light on it and moving forward together. The office will issue 150 licenses to open up a dispensary. Those businesses will receive support via of a $200 million fund to help with identifying locations and running the business. By the end of the year, these dispensaries are set to sell New York grown cannabis harvested by one of the state's more than 220 cannabis farms that received conditional cultivators license um, this year in 2022. Um, those included Robert Leslie, a black farmer who owns Clear Natural, a cultivating company that will provide products to the store. Conditional cultivators need to have experience in hemp before receiving their state license. I feel excited and honored to be able to bring the quality of New York State grown and processed products to the adult market through the CAR program. He said this is unprecedented. Those interested in applying for the CAR must pay a 2000 non-refundable fee. Applicants must also indicate five of the state's 14 geographic region they prefer to operate a dispensary. The application is similar to applying to becoming a minority and woman-owned business enterprise. Fagon said referring to a state certification meant to provide state contracts and other opportunities to people from historically marginalized background. CARD is a highly selective 
With the license focus on term justice involvement, this means the application need to have a marijuana related offense conviction that occurred prior to when former Governor Andrew Cuomo signed the Cannabis Regulation and Tax Act into law back of March of 31st of 2021. People can also apply if their parent, legal guardian, child, spouse, or dependent had a marijuana-related offense conviction in New York State prior to the law's passage. In addition, applicants need to show they have experience owning and operating a business that has been profitable for two years. Nonprofits that serve justice involve people, communities desperately affected by the cannabis prohibition can also apply. To do so, they must show that they've been profitable and have a history of creating opportunities for communities they serve and that members of those communities are part of their board. The window to apply for the card ends September 26th. That's this year, guys, a couple weeks left of this. So if the applicants don't get approved by the license, the state is set to begin phase in its nine other licenses for the cannabis industry, ranging from nurseries to weed bars. So I'm going to put a list up in regards to where the regions are, the listings of office um, cannabis management for New York City. Um, Take a look in the description. And again, if you like the episode, don't forget to share, like, and um, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next Beast Coast News.